friends, and welcome to Fimble Famble Saucebox Reviews in 5, where I take movies, TV shows, books, games, etc., pop culture stuff, and review it in five minutes or less. Why Fimble Famble Saucebox, you ask? Well, caught your attention, didn't it? Ah, got you there. Plus, I just really like the phrase. Anyway, let's get right into it because I want to keep this moving, because this is my short series on the channel, so I'm all about keeping this one moving forward. So this week, I am talking about a lovely, lovely little web series on Netflix known as Stranger Things. So, without further ado, let's get the timer up on the screen, and here we go. So, Stranger Things. It is a web series. It's by the Duffer Brothers. It stars Winona Ryder. It also stars some other people, but let's be honest, Winona Ryder is kind of the one that we remember. No offense to the other actors, but she's sort of like the name in the show. Anyway, it's a horror series? I mean, it is a horror series, but here's the thing. It's sort of like Twin Peaks with... 80s slasher thrown into it. Sort of um, like a little Twin Peaks and a little Friday the 13th. Yeah. And it has really cool elements from both. It definitely has a super 80s feel to it. I mean, the, like the music alone, it, it's very synthy. I don't know. It reminds you of those 80s flash, flasher, slasher movies, you know? It sort of have that like grating music that kind of like terrify you, and there are definitely terrifying moments in this TV show. Um, what I found really, really cool about it, or what I really liked, is that you kind of had three different stories going on in Stranger Things that sort of came together uh, at the end. Which I mean, of course they would, because that's sort of that's sort of the point of having different stories that they eventually coalesce. But it was cool to kind of watch those three groups of people come together. So, basically, I haven't even told you the basic plot yet. The basic plot is that this kid, Will Byers, disappears, right? Just mysteriously vanishes in, into the ether. Actually, quite literally, <laughs> if you watch the show. But, um, so you have three groups of people. You have his friends who are his age. Now, he's about 10, 12, something like that. Um, so his, his friends are trying to figure out what happened to him, and they know that he disappeared around the electric company, which everybody calls the electric company, but they all kind of know is like secret government experiment land, and whenever they go there to search for him, they happen to meet this girl named Eleven, <laughs> because she doesn't have an actual name, and um, Eleven and the boy, Eleven agrees to help the boys find Will, so they kind of team up and form a group. Then you have Will's mom who is, like, completely distraught by the fact that her son has disappeared. And then you have the sheriff, who... Okay, spoiler, but in the first shot, I swore that he was the guy, Will's dad, because he was, like, super drunk, and he was taking a whole bunch of pills, and I'm like, this guy must be the dad. And then he put on a sheriff's badge, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this town is screwed. Oh, uh, anyway, um... So, so the mom and, and the sheriff team up, and that actually takes a little while, because um, a lot of people don't believe the mom, and, and I think Winona Ryder did a, a really awesome job with the mom, because it was sort of like, because she found a way to communicate with Will where he was. Yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm trying not to give too many spoilers away because I want you to watch it, but at the same time, I'm trying to tell you what's happening. Okay, basically, here's what happens: Will starts communicating with her through the lights, and she starts seeing things moving in the walls, and she tries to tell people this, but no one believes her. And then you have, uh, but eventually, eventually, the sheriff believes her for reasons that I'm I'm going to leave you to figure out if you watch Stranger Things. But the point is that they team up and they form a group trying to find them. And they investigate the electric company and they run into like the adults at the the electric company and and find out more about them and what's going on with them. Anyway, um and then you have and then you have Will's older brother and 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 one of Will's friends' sister who also team up because one of her friends has disappeared for similar reasons to Will and they see this this thing and it's really creepy because Eleven calls it okay so part of it is Dungeons and Dragons oh my gosh this is 
Oh, oh, I'm running out of time. Holy crap. I didn't think this through clearly. Um, anyway, so a major theme of it in du is Dungeons and Dragons, right? So it opens on, on the boys playing Dungeons and Dragons, and they're up against this monster called the Demigorgon. So whenever Eleven is trying to explain where Will is, because she knows where Will is, but no one else does, she takes the board, she literally flips it upside down, and she puts Will's thing on it. And it was so annoying to me that the boys didn't understand right away, because I'm like, obviously, he's, he's, he's on, like, the flip side, like, the other side, but they didn't get that for some reason. And they're like, is he in trouble? And she's like, yes. And they're like, was he in trouble? And she's like, he's hiding. And they're like, from what? And she slams the Demigorgon down on the table. And there's this horrifying monster. And and you just catch, like, glimpses of it, which is another great thing that they do. And I'm running out of time. And oh, God. Okay. My time is up. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is that is all the time that we have this week. So, I hope I gave you enough information to at least get you interested in Stranger Things. It's definitely a show that you should check out. If you liked what you saw here, then you should hit the like button. But if you didn't, you should hit the dislike button. If you have any comments for or against, please leave them below. You can, of course, share with your friends and subscribe, because subscribing lets me know that you like what I do, and I like knowing that you like what I do, because then we're all one big pile of likes, and that's awesome! Additionally, you can find me on Twitter at Jank Shenanigans and on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Janky Shenanigans. More than anything, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, or whenever you happen to be watching, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Love you all for watching. Wonderful, wonderful human beings, you. And that is all because I am out of time and I can't make this run any longer. So, until next time, this is Janky- oh, oh, oh! One other quick thing, uh, be sure to join me tomorrow for Stream Shenanigans. We're playing some Overwatch, and of course there will be some Undertale and Witcher coming up on the channel. Now I'm done. Until next time, this is Janky Shenanigans, signing out. I'm going to have to cut so much of this out. It's... Oh my god. We'll get there. Oh, that's going to be a whole rant unto itself. Oh look, a room full of explosives. Ah! Fields and farms and woods. And this game tells me that there are no Pokemon. I just walked off a cliff. That's what we call physical comedy. Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, cinnamon. Cinnamon over bscotch any day. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.